Today we are announcing another major part of Alberta's recovery plan. I am pleased to announce that provincial taxpayers will provide municipalities with more than $1.1 billion to build core and infrastructure help lo and help local governments cope with the COVID crisis while creating thousands of good paying jobs right now. The $1.1 billion includes half a billion dollars that Alberta's government is, has already committed in our recovery plan to get hundreds of shovel-ready infrastructure projects underway and thousands of Albertans working on them starting right now uh, in, under the recovery plan. The other $600 million comes from our new partnership with the national government under the Safe Restart Agreement, which will help municipalities maintain public services as they work through the pandemic. The Safe Restart Agreement will see the province match $233 million in federal funding to support municipal operating costs and $70 million uh, that we will match to support public transit operating uh, during uh, this crisis as those revenues have collapsed. It's estimated that Alberta's half a billion dollar municipal stimulus program, which boosts municipal infrastructure funding by about 30%, will create 2,500 good paying jobs this year and next. Municipalities and Métis settlements may immediately begin applying for funding to build roads, bridges, water and wastewater treatment plants and other important infrastructure that they can now be built this year and next. Even before the municipal stimulus program, Alberta had committed $1.85 billion in budget 2020 for municipalities, including uh, a quarter of a billion dollars from the gas tax fund. The municipal stimulus program is part of the more than $10 billion infrastructure spending announced as part of the recovery plan. This includes uh, nearly $7 billion uh, in, cap in budget 2020 for capital spending, 980 million for accelerated capital maintenance and repair of municipal infrastructure sorry provincial infrastructure 200 million dollars for the strategic transportation infrastructure program uh, and water infrastructure projects 600 million dollars in key strategic uh, alberta infrastructure projects but many of those come from projects submitted and suggested by municipalities and of course, a billion and a half dollars to build the Keystone XL pipeline, creating thousands of jobs. And that's on top of the $15 billion that Alberta's invested in the COVID-19 action plan to help to get people through the worst of the pandemic with additional health care and mental health resources, income support, tax loan and utility deferrals, the small business restart grants, support for homeless shelters and food banks and much more. I know when you think about these big numbers, they are eye popping. They represent a lot of borrowed money. The finance minister will provide a fiscal update about a month from now. And the provincial deficit for this year is expected to come in at more than $20 billion. So let's remember that today's deficits are tomorrow's taxes. And as I've said before, all of this will lead to a great fiscal reckoning. But right now, in the face of the deepest jobs crisis in nearly a century, we must uh, prudently leverage the province's balance sheet uh, to diversify and to create jobs, to build and to ensure a strong economic future. Because if we don't get people back to work, if we don't restore investor confidence and get our economy growing again, the fiscal challenge will become insurmountable. So jobs and the economy must come first. And the best way to help pay for all of this and to get back on top of the deficit will be to get our economy growing again. That includes redoubling our efforts to cut uh, job killing regulation and red tape and reducing taxes to make Alberta the best place in North America to start a business. It means getting pipelines built and becoming the global supplier of choice for responsibly produced energy. It means supporting the diversification of our economy across a wide spectrum of new and existing sectors, including technology, financial technology, agribusiness, aviation, tourism, petrochemicals, and much more. 
It means building the core economic infrastructure now, creating jobs now, and strengthening our municipalities now as a bridge to our future private sector-led growth and prosperity. Thank you to everyone who has worked so hard to get us to the hopeful, future-focused place we are today. That includes uh, the Government of Canada and our municipal partners. I'd like to thank uh, both the AUMA and the RMA, um, and in particular thank uh, Mayors Iveson and Nenshi, with, with whom I've worked closely over the past five tough months. Through these partnerships, we are creating thousands of good jobs for Albertans by building schools, roads, and other core infrastructure that will pay dividends for generations to come. The public infrastructure you see everywhere in this great city is a testament to the foresight of generations that came before us. So let's be inspired by their example and support Alberta's COVID-ravaged economy today with these job-creating investments for a better tomorrow.